It is a gorgeous day in Mobile, Alabama for the 2012 Senior Bowl. There's a football game going on today, but it's really all about the party. People in Mobile and along the Gulf Coast like to have a good time, like to cook out. We have four chefs here today at the Senior Bowl that are gonna be cooking dishes using fresh Gulf of Mexico seafood. The event is set up in the style as if you were on the set of a TV program. They'll be cooking dishes uh, using fresh Gulf seafood. Members of the audience will be able to come up and try. It's a wonderful, wonderful event for the city of Mobile. Well, well it's just real exciting to be around uh, all the great chefs that we have today. This is a great event. Thanking BP, of course, for sponsoring this event and allowing it to happen. It's a great venue here at the Senior Bowl in Mobile. The sun's shining, 68 degrees. You can't ask for anything more in the middle of January. We'll have Chef Haller McGee from Birmingham, Satterfield's Restaurant. We'll have Wesley True from True Restaurant right here in Mobile on the Gulf Coast. We'll have, of course, our headliner, Aaron McCargo from the Food Network. And I'll be bringing up the slack, Alec Naiman from Naiman's Catering. Glad to be here. All right, we're just going to do a quick breading station, just buttermilk. Uh, the dish that we're going to do here today, we're going to do a variation of Oysters Rockefeller. And we call it Dixie Rockefellers. And it's basically, uh, instead of using spinach like you normally would in the Oyster Rockefeller, we're going to use uh, braised collard greens. Instead of breadcrumbs, we're going to put basically fried shallots on top of it. We do a lot of seafood dishes, and we always want to support our local fishermen and our, and, and our local shrimpers as well. So we use Gulf shrimp. We use uh, any other crab meat. We use, you know, plenty of yellowfin tuna that comes out of the Gulf. Why should I call up, you know, California and get tuna when I can get tuna? you know, straight from my backyard. You know, I believe that, that food has two components, um, having fun and passion, because it should be something fun and enjoyable. You know, today is strictly about having uh, some of the best fish in the Gulf, which is the grouper that I love. Um, it's one of my top three fishes. And I just wanted to add some Italian seasoning on top of it, sear it in a pan, and create a nice, simple anchovy butter sauce to get that nice balance of flavor uh, with the sweetness of the fish. So having some grouper that's seared, anchovy butter and lemon pepper sauce can't beat it that's your indication that it's time to turn over your fish you know the fact that the seafood is, is plentiful um, you know it's, it's coming right out of the freshest waters you can get it out of it's a different experience and uh, it's a great experience because it gives me the opportunity to be more creative with my cooking and also be sure that i got the best quality for my my friends my family and the folks that i cook for the people at the event today the hope their takeaway is that there's good fresh seafood available right here on the Gulf Coast and in, and in Alabama and uh, that they should take advantage of it. It's not difficult to prepare and you'll see that through a lot of what happens here today. We're going to get a little olive oil in here. We're doing a uh, cold smoked oysters with um, sauteed romaine and brown butter with a little bit of capers and parsley and also we're doing a seared grouper with uh, kale. Uh, white beans and uh, uh, oven dried tomatoes. We want to do fresh local vegetables with fresh local fish. We want to try to cook what's around us. I think the, the product's going to be better and you're going to be supporting your community. Well, I'm going to be preparing a uh, shrimp Delmonico, of course using our famous Gulf shrimp right here from Alabama. <laughs> but it's a, um, it's a wine reduction cream sauce base. I'm going to have some fresh artichokes, uh, roasted red bell peppers, uh, some onion saute with some garlic. It's a great dish, serve it over pasta. Well, when, you, when you're in the cooking business, all you, you're doing it for everybody else. Your, your joy comes from watching them smile when they put it to their mouth. We love fresh seafood. This is where fresh seafood is found, right here in the Gulf Coast. The Gulf Coast Seafood and Tourism Bash, presented by BP, it's a celebration of the seafood of the Gulf. You know, the, the abundance of seafood and, and the delicious flavor of seafood that comes from the Gulf of Mexico. Well, the whole Gulf Coast has a very unique character. And so having an opportunity like this where we can do some demonstrations to remind the people that live here what a great asset they have in our good Alabama seafood. And then also, as the other people go back to other parts of the country, to uh, tell everybody else when they go home what, a great, what great seafood and what a good time they had in Mobile, Alabama.